In today's tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create a let me know text border. We're gonna see how to add this rough glowy looking border around our text in just a few minutes. This tutorial will not include the reveal animation of the border as I will cover that in another video. For this video though, we'll just focus on how to create the let me know style border. So make sure to watch this video till the end to learn the steps correctly of how to do it. And without further ado, let's get started. Create a new composition 1920 by 1080 with any duration of your choice. The background has to be black. Click OK. Now select the rectangle tool like this or just press Q on your keyboard. And create a rectangle with any size of your choice. Press on your shape layer and change the fill color to white. Hit V on the keyboard to get the selection tool back. Make sure this rectangle is right in the center. And to do that, hold Ctrl or Command and press the Pen tool several times. Now with the Align tools, make this shape be right in the center of your screen. After that, go to the Effects and Presets panel and search for an effect called Roughen Edges. Drag this effect onto your shape. This effect is used to create a more organic or distressed appearance to graphic elements in our case this rectangle right here and you will shortly see how it can do that in the effect controls change the border value to 115 and then change the scale to 15 as you can see we already have our effect applied on the edge of our border but this is not over yet we want to animate this and not let it sit in a still position we want the edges to be in a glowing motion so in order to do that, go back to the start of the timeline and press on the stopwatch where it says evolution. Then go to the end of your timeline and change the value from 0 to 4. Then expand the evolution options and check the box where it says cycle evolution. Now let's take a look at it. As you can see we have made progress but there is still more things for us to cook. For example, we can improve these edges by adding a stroke and to do that, click on your uh, shape layer and press stroke. Choose a solid stroke, change it from normal to screen and then choose the opacity to be around 25. Click OK. Now change the color of the stroke to a grayish color. Click OK and change the value right here to 200. Now let's see the changes that happened. This is our border with the stroke. This is our border without the stroke. As you can see it added sort of like a nice glow to the edges. Now how do we make our border look like this instead of this? Let me show you. Go back to the effects and presets panel and search for an effect called Posterize Time. Drag it into the rectangle layer and then simply right here in the effect controls change the frame rate from 24 to only 5. We have lowered the frame rate of our shape layer and it should look like what Let Me Know uses in his videos. Especially those Q&A ones where he has the text surrounded by a white box. We're not done yet as we need to add another rectangle shape. As you may have noticed, we still haven't added the dark rectangle shape located inside of the white rectangle and this dark shape will house our text layer. So let's add it. Press Q on the keyboard and draw a nice rectangle shape inside of our previous rectangle. Remove the stroke if it's applied to it as we don't need any stroke for this rectangle. Make this rectangle in the color black. Hit OK. Then press V to get the selection tool back and press on your shape layer. Get the anchor point to the center with the pen tool just like we did with our uh, previous shape and align it in the center. Resize this rectangle like this and it depends on the size of what you're working with but the second rectangle should be inside of the first one because it will contain our text layer. Now go back to effects and presets and add the same effect which is roughen edges. 
Actually, let's rename our shapes to white border and black border first. So we're just perfectly organized. Select the black border and in the effect controls, make the border value 50 for example. Or you can choose to play with the settings to see which value looks the best for you. Leave the scale and everything else as it is and keyframe the evolution like we did previously with our other rectangle. Make sure you are in the start point of your timeline and hit the stopwatch. Go to the end of your clip and change the value to 4. Actually, change the value of the border to let's say 25. There you go. Now, lower the keyframes of this one also by adding the posterized time effect. Change the frames from whatever you have to 5 frames. At the end it should look something like this. Perfect. Now you can add any text you like inside of this box. So select the text tool and type in your text right here. I'll type in for example, please like the video. We're gonna get our selection tool back again with V. Select the text and center it in the middle. Change the color of the text to grayish color like this. Hit OK. Now let's add another text below this one. Let's type this for example. Let's give this a white color. Hit OK. Then reposition these layers to be perfectly in the middle of the box. And there you go. That's how you add a glowing text border inside of Adobe After Effects. Like I said in the beginning, this video does not include the reveal animation of the border or the text itself. It only focuses on the rough and edges effect. Let me know if you want to see a video focusing on the reveal effect as well. And if you have any question about this particular video, let me know in the comments. Oh, this is great banter. And if you found this video helpful, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to become a pro editor and learn other cool stuff inside of After Effects or Premiere Pro, feel free to watch this next tutorial.